with this from Cal John Apari. Another bogus Better Business Bureau complaint comes into John Higgins Roofing Company. We had over 25,000 emails that we know of. That's a lot. And, you know, we were getting two, 3,000 phone calls a day. I mean, even now, you can hear the phones ringing now. They don't normally ring that much. They hung up. The relentless phone calls haven't stopped either. More than a week after Kentucky lost to North Carolina, which went on to win the NCAA championship. But the bad calls to WeatherGuard went afoul when they turned into death threats. Investigators pinpointed five legitimate threats. On a scale of one to 10, how vulgar and horrible are Ten. these? Yeah, there, a couple of them were tens. They were talking about my family and, and me and my kids. And that was hard. Hard for the father of three, who says the fans' outrage has nothing to do with his business or his family. For a basketball game to, to, to do something this, like this to somebody's family. Much to the dismay of those Kentucky fans, Higgins stepped back onto the court for the Final Four, along with 24-7 security. It was a little, uh, little frightening. Higgins hopes fans will think twice about attacking refs and take a timeout instead. We're going to miss plays. We're going to miss calls. And, and whether or not we miss them or, miss them or don't miss them, doesn't give people the right to, to threaten their lives and their livelihood. WeatherGuard has blocked all Kentucky area codes and taken down its Facebook page while the FBI, Sarpy County Sheriff's Department, and University of Kentucky police continue this investigation. Higgins hopes those responsible are arrested and prosecuted for the death threats. As for basketball next year, Higgins says he'll return to the college courts.